Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Anyway, today is Monday, September 4th, which is considered Labor Day. So pretty much everything's closed except for like Walmart, McDonald's, and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys want to see the new McDonald's that was built here in my town. If you do, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video of it. Anyway, so... <laughs> This video is going to be hopefully pretty quick. I just wanted to show you guys a lot of people that are going to be visiting Japan soon with it, whether it be a couple of months or the next few years, something like that, or even years, you know, bye. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people that I know are vegan. Um, and there, a lot of people are worried about, well, gee, you know, um, where am I going to eat? Thing because you know everybody's like oh you know Japan's about meat and sushi and fish that's not totally true there are tons of vegetables and fruits that you can eat that are in Japan some are expensive some are not but I wanted to show everybody uh, a book that you can get online it's actually a virtual book so you can read it on your Kindle or iPad or uh, most uh, digital devices but I wanted to show you where you could get a guidebook that has reviews of over 50 vegan or vegan friendly restaurants that are in Tokyo. And also and show you maybe a quick little expert of it or excerpt of it. I'm not for sure, but I can show you just a quick little um, view of what's in that, uh, that book. And I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can find it and download it yourself. And uh, it's also got in there uh, some common phrases also for uh, asking, uh, you know, about certain foods and everything else. And according to what I read, and I will show you guys, that there's actually, um, right now with it, you will get... Uh, in addition to the one book, you'll get one for a small little one for Kyoto too, which is really, really cool. So let's jump right into that, shall we? As you can see, um, right here, I am on the Gaijin Pot store page. You can go to this link and it'll be in the description box below. But as you can see, um, <clears throat> I, already, I have an account and I logged in. But, um, as you can see, they have several different stuff. And right here is the Tokyo Vegan Guide. So, when you click on it, it will bring it up. It is 810 yen, so roughly about $8 US. Um, but, it's, like I said, right here it says it's the Tokyo Vegan Guide. As What it says is, known as the Land of Sushi. Japan may seem a bit daunting to vegan and vegetarian visitors, but you can survive in Tokyo while keeping to a plant-based diet and thrive on delicious meals and snacks. The Tokyo Vegan Guide contains all you need to know to enjoy delicious meals and make the most of your time in the city. It has reviews of over 50 vegan and vegan-friendly restaurants across Tokyo, including price range and easy walking directions, tips on the vegan-friendly options in convenience stores and supermarkets and major restaurant trains, bonus information for gluten-free and hollow foodies, there you go, and a useful glossary of helpful phrases, common words, and clear explanation of veganism in Japanese. Plus. Get this, you'll get a special gift, a mini vegan guide to Kyoto is included. I'm sorry, I don't know why I just did that, but it was fun. But here it is, is like I said, it says it supports Kindle, iBooks, Nook, and most other readers and devices. Um, and it does have the sample available download, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that up so you guys can see it. I downloaded it, and it's downloaded to... Um, my Phantom PDF Express, which means I can actually print this off to where I actually will have it in my hand. And I'm probably going to do that. I will probably buy it and print it off 
and uh, make it into like a book form, a really good heavy duty book form to where I have it and you know for walking around you know in Japan. This is it has about 10 pages in this small uh, look at it so you know it's probably got a lot more pages to it. But it's got the forward, how to use the guide, uh, criteria, choosing restaurants. Wait, what about? It's like, okay. It's got, you know, popular sightseeing spots from Shinjuku, Shibuya, Tokyo Station, Ginza, Harajuku, Otomo Sando, Asakusa, you know, uh, Roppongi, uh, Shimokita Zawa, Yoyogi area, Ikibukuro. Hiro, Jimbocho, Okubo, Ibitsu, uh, Daikanyayama. I mean, it's got tons. <laughs> As you can see, there's tons here. So, and then the little extra gift, a few tips for Kyoto, Yukushima Garden, Veg Out, Morpho Cafe, and then it's got, you know, um, for convenience stores or convenience supermarkets, specialty stores, you know, juices, treats, chain, train, trains, chain restaurants like uh, Coco Curry and Otoya and Mr. Farmer. I mean, there it's got farmers markets. So and then it should be pretty good. So let's go down here. And in big bold, Tokyo vegan guy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. By Gerard Park uh, Terzulo. And it has, you know, a foreword about the author of the book. And I'm not going to totally uh, read this to you. But I'll read this. It says, <laughs> the first is historical. Going back to the pre meiji era, Japan, when rising and selling animals for consumption was banned due to the strong Buddhist edicts of the time. The traditional Japanese diet before the changes made into modernize the country during the Meiji era was main was mainly based on barley, rice, miso, vegetables, occasional fish, and rarely still meat used for medicinal purposes. I didn't know that. Huh. We can still see echoes of this diet in Shoujin ro bleh, Yori, <laughs> I can't speak, the cuisine of Buddhist monks, who in general are who in general also avoid eggs and pungent vegetable pungent pfft, that's a tongue twister. Pungent vegetables like garlic and onions. I did not know that. I can't live without my garlic. I'm sorry. I got to have my garlic. You know, Italian garlic, you know, sorry. I got to have, I got to have my garlic. It talks about milk products and so, um, and it also has how to use the guide. And so let's see if it shows choosing restaurants. Do you show anything else? It's ever. Ah, this is one that says, wait, what about dun, 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 dun. those familiar with Tokyo or the excellent Happy Cow app? I've never heard of the Happy Cow, Happy Cow app. I'm going to have to check that out. May notice not all of Tokyo's vegan restaurants are listed. No disrespect is meant to any of these establishments. In fact, a few of my personal favorites have not made, it, made the cut. My reasons for not including them are... Not necessarily due to the quantity of the cuisine selections. Of the cuisine selections were made, taking into consideration local location, not local location, opening hours, uniqueness of the dishes served, and the likelihood of survival in Tokyo's famous competitive restaurant scene. That is very true. Tokyo and many other places, you know, all around Japan, um, the restaurant scene can tend to change. You could have a store or restaurant that has opened up, just like uh, Simon and Martina mentioned, and I'll put a link to their cookie challenge that they did just recently in the description box below, or click on the eye up in the corner, and you can go right there to that video. 
but they mentioned how the donut shop that they went to that they did the donut challenge is no longer there and no longer in business so it constantly changes for the market and either you know businesses will close down and a new one will pop up so I can understand the author of this book you know you know taking in consideration the different restaurants and ones that you know are pretty much kind of like a staple there so yeah this is that's that's really good after seven years in the city my barometer Barometer for restaurant success is finely tuned, and I wanted to avoid visitors trekking to a joyful anticipated restaurant only to find out that it has closed. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, and it talks about the popular sightseeing uh, spots, which, you know, if anybody loves Japan like I do, you pretty much, you know, have an idea of all of these. Um... So the first one is mentioned is Shinjuku, it looks like, and I'm on page 11 already, so this will be the last page, and it just talks about Shinjuku, talks about the huge Godzilla statue, the Samurai Museum, the blah, 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 ro robot restaurant, um, so let's see here, okay, and it does a little bit talk, looks like uh, I'll be able to show you the one, a few of them that are, or at least one of them that's in <laughs> Shinjuku here. Um, <clears throat> and it looks like uh, the also talks about uh, uh, Shrine, uh, Hanazono Jinja, which says is nicely spooky at night. I would love to go there. Um, LGBTQ visitors will want to visit the Ni. Kome area, home Tokyo's largest concentration of gay, lesbian, queer spaces with um, Artie Farty <laughs> and Eri, two good spots to start your evening. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Um, but the one that is mentioned is Lima Cafe here, and it says the address is New State Manor Building. 2231 Yoyogi Shibuya Ku Tokyo and it tells you how to get there and stuff which is really cool um, it stops at go straight until the um, I will go online and I will look to see exactly where the Lima Cafe is and I will put the whole directions in the description box below for that to where if you're there right now or planning on going there and aren't getting aren't going to get the vegan guidebook or you are but you want to go ahead and look and see real quick where it is uh, like I said I'll put that in the description box below but this is really awesome that Gaijin Pot even has this for everybody so yeah thank you so much for watching and again if you go to um, the store Gaijin Pot they've got plenty of different stuff they've got books oh my gosh my computer <sighs> come on computer there we go much better it just automatically took me to the Gaijin Pot actual web page um, looks like they have a lot of stuff from culture gift sets that have fans and chopsticks and looks like a towel oh a Tengui towel, uh, coin purse, so that is really cool, and these are chopstick rests that come with it, so this one has Mount Fuji, and this one has a Sakura, and it looks like this one has from the um, Japanese kite flying, which is really cool, um, they have some really neat stuff, uh, stuff, they have some really neat items that you could possibly get, even if you want to get it before you go to Japan. I would love this. Tabi socks. Oh my gosh. You would not believe how many times my daughter gets mad at me because I will wear socks with my flip flops and stuff because I just I just like it and so it kinda of ruins my socks a little bit. So yeah. Ooh, that there's a nice uh, bento set gift set that you can get. They've got some really, really, really awesome things here. 
the sushi tabu slices. Oh, I would love this one. I love this one. Ooh, and those are pretty too. That's crane uh, origami uh, earrings. But unfortunately, you know, can't really wear pierced ears. And this is a hair stick. This would go up in your hair. And that's really, I believe, yeah, that's a kimono accessory gift set. And that is really cool. All these are essential when you um, are wearing your kimono and stuff for festivals and stuff. So that's, that's really, really cool. Like I said, it says they have clothing and other goods as well. And probably other books. Let's see here. That says clothing. There's not much there. What other goods do they have? So that's pretty much it, but all that they have there. And when it comes to books, real quickly, it looks like that's the only book right now, but I have bet in anything that they'll probably add more later. But like I said, the main focus is this Tokyo Vegan Guide. So if you are vegan or vegetarian and really want to know where to go, especially in Tokyo, to possibly eat and get some good vegan food, this guide will probably be excellent for you. So thank you so much again for watching and I hope you all have a nice week ahead of you. Stay ginky. Ja.